Hello and welcome to the Northeast Arts and Culture Show. The rolling hills of the Northumberland countryside might be associated with traditional art, but one screen printer combines the stunning natural landscapes with vivid colours and modern representations. We took a trip to deepest Northumberland to speak to Rebecca Vincent about how she came to be working at the Hearth Art Centre at Horsley. The Hearth um, is, a, is a, a series of church buildings around a United Reformed Church and uh, some of the uh, community members here uh, wanted to, to do something with the buildings that were falling derelict and they had the idea to um, turn them into artist studios and, and a cafe and create a, a little art centre. Um, so now we have uh, eight artist studios, uh, a cafe, uh, a, a hall where a lot of our educational activities can take place and also music um, concerts. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a stream of people who, who come in who enjoy the arts and enjoy the food in the cafe. And it's, it's a beautiful area and it's a really beautiful building as well. So it seems like there's inspiration all around you for presumably mm -hmm. for the type, of, mm -hmm. the type of art that you do. But what, what specifically would you say are your inspirations? Well, it, I mean, I've been here at the Hearth for 10 years. We've just had our, our 10th anniversary in June. And um, it's been a huge influence on my work, being based in a village in the, the countryside of Northumberland. And, uh, you know, every day when I drive out here, I'm sort of doing a reverse commute. And uh, instead of <laughs> going in the city, I, into the city, I come out of the city and I, I enjoy the, the, you know, the wonderful... Um, you know, rural scenes that are all around me uh, in the in the Tyne Valley, and and, and 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 further afield in Northumberland as well, and and that's really changed uh, my work. I mean, I, I always made work about nature, the natural environment, mainly focusing on little close-ups of uh, details in nature. But uh, in the last ten years, I've turned much more towards the rural landscape and the the, the fields and hills forests and hedgerows that are, that are all around me and um, and it's been in recent years that I've, I've found a way of interpreting those uh, interpreting that subject matter using the the special techniques of printmaking that are available to me um, so my work has quite a sort of distinctive uh, look um, in the in the way that I do it and the colors that are that I use I think it's uh, important to point out that my work is not really of specific scenes. I mean, I, I do, I do have some like the the, the sycamore gap that uh, is, is is just right for me. Really, being a kind of a, a tree on the on the hillside there. Um, but most of my work is like an idealised view of the countryside. So it's not one view of a particular place that you can recognise, but it's taking the idea of you know, tree uh, skyline uh, with with trees silhouetted against a sunset. Or uh, recently, I've been doing some woodland pictures, and I've I've been doing some bluebell woods. So it's not one bluebell wood; it's the idea of a bluebell wood. So it's kind of your interpretation of of the countryside. That's right, and bringing yeah. together, you know, all, all the different images that I've that I've I've stored in my head, and 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 producing something that. Um, is, is a, an idealised version of all of those. And what about the colours that you use? Because they're quite autumnal. It's, it's quite distinctive, the, the colours uh -huh, that you use. Uh -huh. And it's quite, again, it's quite, it seems like it's your interpretation of um, of the colours around you. So what, what yeah, yeah. kind of inspired you to use those colours specifically? Well, I mean, the colours do look rather autumnal and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> a, a, lot, a lot of people um, comment uh, upon that. Um, I didn't set out to do autumn winter pictures. It's just kind of worked out that way. I think the kind of tree silhouettes that when they when the trees have lost their leaves, are, are just such a kind of beautiful contrast to the the patterns of the fields that that run behind them. And just visually, that really works for me. Um, I do. Uh, I have done trees <laughs> with leaves on them, um, and uh, sometimes that that works out, and I get a good picture. But I do keep returning to this more autumn winter look. The colours I use are, they're exaggerated. They're not exactly the colours that you would find when you look around, um, but they, they are natural. So there are natural earth tones in them, mm -hmm. like the red ochres and yellow ochres, raw sienna I use a lot of. 
So it's taking the colours of nature and just exaggerating them a little to give more warmth, more glow to what is, you know, only a two-dimensional mm -hmm. um, surface. Um, I've been very influenced by skies recently. We get such fabulous big skies up here in the northeast. Um, we've had some great sunsets and sunrises, and that they're always a great source of inspiration mm -hmm. for for colour. Yeah. And um, I'm always checking those out. I'm trying to remember <laughs> the colours that I see. It's interesting how images that are you know largely influenced by the Northumberland landscape are also very well received in the south of England. Yeah. And where people understandably. Uh, I, think, I think I think I think they're seen as being quintessentially English. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, and uh, uh, it's uh, the the other counties can the people of other counties can really enjoy and appreciate uh, mm -hmm. the pictures as, as being English in nature. Mm -hmm. um, even if they don't know Northumberland well. Yeah.